all right good day friends you're welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer all right and in today's video i just want to show you um something simple and this actually comes as a result of a question i got from one of our subscribers and this is um mr high media if i'm correct asking how do i change square columns to circular ones all right probably um he had engaged his designs and he had gotten to a point where he wants to change a square column to a circular column for whatever reasons but best known to him all right in case you're new to my channel um i make civil engineering content from manual designs to software designs and to live applications all right so you may want to use the like buttons and use the subscribe button all right so that you can get first hand all of my releases all right so having watched one of my videos of which i would recommend for anyone who wants to get better with um and this is the video here yeah? product structure tutorials for beginners all right so you may want to use that video because it takes from the beginning all to the finish point on modeling analysis and design all right and it's going to help you out in your design all right so how do we go about changing sec um, square columns to circular columns all right all through this project for example this is one of the projects that i model for tutorial all right so we have square columns all around this building so let's pick one of them um, that we wish to convert to circular columns or circular column. All right. So we have this, for example, I want to pick this uh, to convert to a circular column. You may pick anyone as you desire. OK, so let's get back to the plan and locate the columns. All right. OK, this is the column that we picked from the 3D perspective all right so we want to convert this to a circular column this is a two to five by two to five column all right so right clicking on that column you use properties and in the properties dialog box you see b1 b2 e1 e2 all right and the b1 b2 represent the section dimensions all right of the width and the the breadth of if we may call it that way all right and the e1 e2 are eccentricities from the two directions all right okay so if we want to convert this to a circular column of which you know that a circular column has something such as the radius and the diameter um, in speaking of in relation to its dimensions now all right okay so but for a square column we have the width and the breadth or the length and breadth okay so for this let's assume we want to convert this to a 300 millimeters diameter column okay so this is just what we want to do very simple and direct you the b1 you insert your diameter if it's 300 if it's 2 to 5 if it's 250 if it's 450 600 diameter however it is that you want it but i want to use this 300 as an example all right and since it's not a square column, neither is it a rectangular column, then we keep the second dimension as zero. All right. Having done that, what we want to do next is to use the update button. All right. So once you use the update button, it automatically activates what you want. Now let's check this in 3D and see if we have gotten what exactly. Um, mr l media wants all right so this has been converted to um a circular column from a square column you can otherwise do that from a rectangular column to a circular column as the case may be all right so if you have any questions as touching this or even more you should um, use the comment section as i'll be there to answer to all of your questions your queries and suggestion all right and the series continues on how i designed the g plus two story if you check through my last few videos you find that we have taken part one and part two and you just want to continue with us to get yourself 
good in this design journey all right we'll meet in the next video i am joshua the designer do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel bye